everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to Hexcells Infinite. So, once again, I went and redid 4-2 to get the Hexcells I missed. And I've had to come to just a realization here now, particularly for Infinite. If there is a way to logic out these puzzles without guessing, which it probably is, and I'm just not mentally capable of doing it, it doesn't even matter anymore. So I'm not making the same thing I've said several times before, uh, pretty much at the beginning of every episode lately. I'm not making the argument saying that that there might be a way that logic gets out and I'm just messing up. I've come to the realization it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter because the game has failed here. Even though it's an alright puzzle game, it has failed to bring enough fun to it and enough education and enough training of the player in particular to make them feel like there was a solution that could be logic done. Because over and over again I have run into scenarios where it just felt like I had to guess. And as soon as I have to feel like it, I have to guess, then you've lost them. You've lost the player. Speaking of being lost, I have no idea what this is going to be all about. Let's see. If, if I knew for a fact these two were this, this would help with that. This six doesn't tell me anything. This four isn't going to tell, tell me anything for a while. This four tells me something though. There's only four here. So in, in, and in that goes. That was our first step. This two is already touching two, so it eliminates these two. This three tells me that of this, there's only one remaining, which means the seven is one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I get rid of one more there, that's a solution. This three now has been eliminated, so that's in, and that's in, and that's in. All of a sudden, this puzzle seems simpler than the last one by far. Maybe there was just something in the last one. I mean, even doing this a second time, I saw no way to, to get a few of the solutions. It just seemed un unattainable. This four here is only capable of touching four. One, two, three, four, so these two have to be included. This four here is only capable of touching four, so this one has to be included. This five is only capable of touching six, so that's not helpful. This one is touching more. This three is actually only capable of touching three, so maybe from the beginning we could have included that. This five doesn't help. This three sorta helps. Maybe later on. This two has been solved. This two tells us only one of those is right. So if only one here, two, three, four, five, still not enough. Only one here, one, two, three between that, those two, four, five, six, seven, eight, still need to get rid of one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This seven's nowhere close. Yeah. This two tells us that there's only one of these three. But that doesn't mean it's not here. And if it's not if it is here, that doesn't eliminate enough to get this seven solved. This five in no way indicates that this isn't one. 
or this isn't one. This three doesn't work with it to say anything there. Unless there's just something at the core of it that I was supposed to discover completely on my own. Something that just totally didn't... Well, this five here tells us that one of these has to be it. And if one of these has to be it, then this is out. And then this five now only has one valid option, so that's in. So then this three has already been satisfied, so that's out. This three tells us something quite interesting, actually. One, two, then a third one of those three, then four, five, six, seven. Try it, let's count it again backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That includes all of these. Nice. Now we're starting to make some moves. This one is already touching one, so it excludes these two. This two could only be touching another one here, so it includes this one. This four is touching three already, so we don't know anything from that. This three is touching three already, so this one gets it out. This four doesn't tell us anything. This four doesn't tell us anything. What does it? I don't know. I don't think it does yet. This five and this five both overlap, so we still don't really have a clue there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stone. This two is still missing something. Well, maybe not. One, two, three, four. Yeah. This four includes this one. This two then says there has to be one here, which then this two means that this one has to be included. This three goes one, two, and only three here, so that includes that one. So this one's satisfied. This two now is satisfied, gets rid of that. This two satisfied, so we're done with that too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Since we know there's one here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Still not sure about which one is seven. Could be either. So, there's one, two, and then the third one's here. The fourth one is here between these two. The fifth one's here, the sixth one's here, the seventh one's here. So if we know there's going to be a mine under one of these, and this is already touching one, two, and then that's the third, this has to be included. There we go. This four now is touching one here, which, because we know one of those has to be, and then one, two, three here. So that's four already, that means these two are out. This three can't be solved yet, I don't believe. This four can't be solved. This four, doesn't it indicate that this is out now? Because if one of these is going to satisfy the four, that means this can't be in. So then this 5, to be satisfied, has to include this one. That's done. This 3 here is touching 1, 2, and only...
only three, so that includes this. This five is satisfied, so we're done. This four is satisfied, so we're done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's been satisfied, so that one's out. This four here doesn't tell us anything, but this three tells us this is out. And so the, now this four tells us this is in. This one's solved. This is solved. And we are finally left here with the remaining six. This three tells us there are two here. And this six tells us that there are two here. That means these two have to be the remaining two. Because there's two here, there's gotta be two here to equal the four remaining. So in and in. This two tells us it's already touching two, so that means that's out. This three tells us it's touching two more. Doesn't matter though. This three, this three, and all this agree that these remaining two are in. Plus the fact that only two are remaining. So then you go and see a puzzle like this. And it seems like it just randomly alternates. Sometimes the puzzles seem like they could are very solvable. Sometimes it seems like the puzzles are impossible to solve. And it doesn't matter. I've come to this this understanding now that it doesn't matter if what the truth is. It just matters how you feel. Video games are an emotional thing. If you feel like you can't succeed, that's enough. That's all it takes. Doesn't matter if it, you can. If I tried to go play a game that was written in a completely foreign language, which basically this is a game written in a completely foreign language to me, uh, doesn't matter if that game is winnable or not. It's not going to feel winnable to me. Well, that started us a little bit down the path. Let's see, what's the next step? Let's see, we know there's one here. So, for this three, there's one here, and then one over here, on the outside of this section. For this four, there's one here, and then two on the outside of this section. But how does that help anything right now? It, it kind, kind of doesn't, does it? Let's see, there's a one here, but that doesn't mean I couldn't do something like this. There's a four here. That's not going to help. There's a 5 here. That's not going to really help. This 5 is... We know there's 1 here. And then so many other things. To solve. This 4 is not going to help. This 6 isn't going to help. This 2. This 2. Well, let's see, this five, if we eliminate these, and that's two at most here. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's still way too much, too much opportunity. I would need to eliminate, I think, about nine. Oh, and the six here doesn't help because that still could easily be all four of these. So it doesn't feel like there's enough info there. This five, if I got rid of four, uh, two more, that that would work. If I got one rid of one here, that would work. 
How about right here? One, two, three, four, five. Nope. There's two here, one here, and one here. That's five. We know there's five here, that's ten. Not included in that, we also know that there's eleven here, four more here for fifteen. I mean, that gets us down to 15, we'd still need another 12 to calculate the 37 remaining mines. This 2 here doesn't help. This 2 here doesn't help. This 2 here doesn't help. Does the 6 help? Maybe that's the part. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six. Ah, that's it. I wasn't, didn't count that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. There, 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 and there. That solves this. Let's go ahead and turn off some of these. tells us that there is one here on this side and one here on this side. Good. This three is touching one, two, three here. So the third place can only be here, which means this, 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 and this are all gone. This four tells me that there's one here. So that's one, two, three, but that doesn't help me eliminate those, sadly. This two is only touching two, however, so I can include that. That gets rid of that. This two is only touching two, so I can include that, get rid of that, get rid of that. This one includes that one. This two gets rid of these two. five doesn't help us yet. Let's see, the six now tells me that in this we have at most two. So two here could be this one, and then three here gives you five then 2 here gives you 7, 8, 9. So that still doesn't narrow it down enough. This 5, at most 2 would be here. And then you could have 2 here. That would be 4. I would put five here if you did it that way. Otherwise, I don't think this five helps. How about this? Does this help? There are six, so we need four here. We need four here, and then we need, let's see, four here. Is there something we can derive from having three overlap like this? This six touches four more. This five touches three more. How can that be the case? Well, it tells us that there's not four in the middle here. It tells me that there's one here. And then... So, th 
this one could potentially be getting its three from here. There's at least one here. In actuality, it could be that this is getting two from this, and then there's only one in the middle. And this one could be getting four from this, and, well, three from this, and there's only one in the middle. And nothing changes with this middle piece. So I don't think there's enough logic there for the next step. This one is getting one here, one more here, and this one's already been satisfied so we can get rid of that. So that would be one, two, three, and then one more there. This one is getting One, two, three has to be here. So, if there has to be one here, then this can't be here. Alright. So now the question is, if there's one here, how does this touch three? Any of these could be the second one, well the third one has to be here, doesn't it? It couldn't ever be that it was here, and then there was two more over here, because then I would be touching five, not three. So this has to be in, and this can be assumed out. I mean, it's not an assumption, we know it's not part of the puzzle. Then this three gets rid of that, this four, now knows it's one of these. This three's been satisfied. This four knows it's one of these two. So this can be out. I don't know if that's any helpfulness though. So. Well, let's see. This or this could be one here or one here, or it could be one here and then this could be touching three totally separate ones. But then this one actually tells us a little bit about this. At most, only one of them can be here for this three. So, and at most, only one of them can be here for this three, so. Well, we don't know which of those two, or which of those two. We know it's one of those two, so we could probably eliminate this with safety. But we can definitely include this. Hmm. One here and one here are the only two, so that goes ahead and eliminates the rest of these. And since we know that there's one here, we can go ahead and eliminate these two. And since we know there's going to be one here and one here, we can eliminate this. This two is only touching two. That includes that and eliminates that. This one's been satisfied now, and this one's been satisfied now. And then this two could be touching this one, or this one. And this two here tells us it's touching this one. So that includes that. That gets rid of that. Two. Or only two are here, so that's satisfied. This one is satisfied. This two includes this. This three. This two gets rid of this one. There. If I get rid of one more here, then... Uh, I have the solution, and in fact I already do have the solution because this one is touching two. That means only one of those can be in. So that's one, two, three, four. So this and this are already in.
this five doesn't help. This four doesn't help. Maybe this two helps though, because we know it could be here or here. Or it could be here. And here. Yeah, I don't know if that helps yet. It'll help a little bit when it brings in this five. But I feel like this is going to be the final section of the puzzle. Let's look at some diagonals here. Two, six, four, nothing, five, nothing, one, not yet. Well, actually, yes, this one does help us a little bit. Since this one is only touching these two, and we know that's one, we can go ahead and eliminate all these. Nice. Does that help here? Let's see. We have two now that have to be in this section. So two there. And then two that could be in this section, so four there, five, six, potentially seven. And I don't think this one contributes anything really that useful to that information. I don't feel like this six diagonal could contribute much to the information. I don't feel like this four diagonal contributes anything. So that doesn't look like the solution yet. This five tells us there's one here, there's one between those two, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would need to eliminate a couple more things before that would be useful. This four tells us there's one here, and then there could be two here, three here, and four here. And in fact, it has to be that, doesn't it? So include that, include that, include that. There we go. This gets rid of this. And nothing else, really. Let's see, this five tells me there's only one here. Two, three, four, five, six. How about this six? What does this tell us? The six tells us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's one here, there's one there, there's two here, that's four, five, six, which means one of these two, only of that could be it. So when you evaluate that way, you have one, two, three, four, five, no, one, two, three, four, five, and one has to be down this way. 
So we know there's one down here, there's one down here, there's one here, and there's one here. But there's no confirmation here. Although, since we know that there can only be one here, how do we know there can only be one here? Actually, let's double check that information because I could be making a flaw in deduction by my by invalid info. This could there can only be one here because this one's already touching one. But who's to say that there aren't two right here? Nobody. There could be two right there. Easily. Yep. So everything I just said is worthless. It's not verifiable. We could take five out of this. We could take six out of this. That's eleven. You could take uh, another five out of this and that would leave six. Hmm. There's six remaining. We may actually have to calculate it that way, wouldn't we? So, five plus this plus this. This tells me that's 16 missing. So, this one could either get three out of this one over the overlap, and two here, and one here. That's all it could do, or it could get three out of this and then two there, which would actually be adding more. But when you take this five, ten, and fifteen, Subtract 3 here, you have 12. Because those might be the same thing as this. You have 12 there. And when you add this 6, that's 18. So if I'm thinking straight, inside each one of these hexes is the remaining 18. So everything outside should be excludable. Which is an amazing way to do it. It's not something I've ever done before. We'll see if we make a mistake here. We made a mistake. There we go. So there was something flawed in that logic, obviously. But at least I thought I wasn't guessing, even though I was. Do you get brownie points for that? If you think you're doing something right and you're still doing it wrong? No, I think that just makes it even worse. I'd much rather somebody just be, uh, well, I guess a ten intention might be a consideration. But, but I'd much rather people know that they don't know and not try than try and make something worse. Usually, depending on what I'm talking about. This one says there's two here. This one says that there could only be two here. This one says that there could only be two here. So two here in this section and potentially another one here potentially another one here that would be four so four then I could solve this either way I can't there's not enough info there how about this diagonal yep that'll work how about this six three nope not ready yet how about this four no how about this diagonal. No. I mean, 
mean, it's almost certain that that is this is one of them. It would be very difficult otherwise. Like, there's one here, two here. If this wasn't included, then it would be three, four, five, six, seven. This way, if I eliminated one of these, I would have that diagonal to work with. How about this? Five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So this five and this five are both overlapping. But this 5 is including this one, so that means that we have to include this one? Am I thinking straightly? Here, this 5 has one that this one doesn't, and this one is only touching one extra that this one isn't. That means this is included. Yes, good. Even when I'm doing it right, it feels like I'm guessing at this point. The game has really lost me. It really has failed to train me as as a player. Unlike a game like Portal, where you start off in very simple puzzle platforming areas and you just get more and more dif uh, difficult puzzles and you learn more and more skills, this seems to just kind of throw you into the deep end and it's sink or swim time and let's not bother explaining half this stuff while we're at it. or properly training the player. We know there's one here because of this five. And this and this. So there's one here. There could be another here, two. There could be another here or here, three, four, five, six. Still can't solve that. Still too much info. Still not haven't eliminated something. One, two, three between these two. Still nothing. Hmm. Maybe this bit of information will help us. Though. So, let's count. We know there's one here. Know there's potentially one, only one there, and most two there. If there was two there, then these two, these three are out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's turn off this. One. One here, two, three, between these, four, five, six. Hmm. Until we get this two figured out, I don't think we can solve it. The six, same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. We have a two that's here. We've got nothing that solves that. We've got this five here that tells us nothing solves that. We have this here. So one plus three here is four. Six here would be 10. And then 3 here is 13, which means I've already miscounted somehow. There's 4 here. Uh, that's it. So 4 and 4 is 8, plus 4 more here is 12. So again, we are back to the point where it seems like between these three circles, everything that not in the circle is eliminated. And that's not right. 
so there's my second mistake. And it doesn't even make sense how I'm not running in. I'm, I'm not understanding. Oh, I'm miscounting is what I'm doing there. So one, two in this one plus one here is three. The four here is seven. And then the four here is eleven. So maybe now, cross our fingers, hope this is out. So that was the solution apparently, but it took so much math, so much calculation, and getting us down to 11 mines so we could calculate that. Maybe it would have been easier to use this two that I just have seen. This probably would have fixed a lot of issues. Not really, because now that just moves us to the next thing. This one needs two more. This one has one more here and one more here. That means this is out. This two then includes that and gets rid of that. This four then includes that, which gets rid of that. So finally that's satisfied. Finally that's satisfied. Finally this is satisfied. This one now can be done with. This five tells us that there's only two here which is helpful I think somewhat but not as helpful as I think it should be there's still seven remaining and we don't have we haven't stumbled on to the logical path that explains this puzzle yeah nothing clearly explains this. It could be one here, and then that would get rid of this. So that would be one, one here, two, three, four, five. So I think these two are in. Nope. They're not. <sighs> the math here just isn't adding up. It just isn't. If I put one here, and then one over here, that would solve it, but I can't do that because then I couldn't solve this. So this has to be out. Then this two finally is allows for that to be in. This one gets rid of this. This three includes this. Maybe there was some solution. This two now is only touching two. We can include that. This one can get rid of that one. This one can get rid of that one. All of a sudden it starts looking feasible to solve this part. This four has been satisfied. Get rid of that while we're at it. So, is this five touching five now? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Finally. That was a very late puzzle solution. Maybe working on it so early in the game was my problem but this practically we don't even need this because of this too still leaves us here this is touching one two three four five here so we know this one's out right one between these two these two are already there these two are already here yep so that's somewhat satisfied. This six really doesn't matter that much, so we'll get rid of it. And then this six tells us we're going to hit these four, and then a five, and a six here. And we know that this three is already touching two here, and it's going to touch one here, so that one's out. This five is only touching five, so that one's in. Now. How do we find the right one here? 
well, this two is only touching two, so that one's in. This was the last piece of information we needed. And so that's one's out. Three mistakes means I am now three short on the hex cells, and I so badly, desperately want to get the perfectionist achievement. Uh, achievements on Steam in particular are weird because either you have an older game that loved to put in achievements, and thus you're not going to get 100% of them all, which is the only number you can really broadcast as far as the Steam interface, as far as I can tell, or you have newer games that barely even care that much about achievements, so they'll give you five or so. Hex Cells is a great example of that. So we are at 42% done. Let's go ahead and just quickly look in four or five, make sure it's a standard puzzle for next time, not a really short one. Again, I'll we'll play off screen to get to that one. We'll try it again. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to send me back to college so I can learn how to play Hex Cells infinitely correctly, you make a really big donation and I'll do it. It'd have to be a lot but I would do it. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, and then finally, down below, I have all the social media links, so follow and friend me on all of those. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.